have another Holy Grail product, which is the um, high pigment. Can you see that? Just the little high pigment liner. And I got this at CVS. It was like buy one, get one free, so I stocked up. I got this one and I got the green, which is like a forest green. It's not too cute on its own, but I use it as a base for like my MAC shadow, shadow especially when I do like the mermaid eyes or whatever, and it makes the shadow last a long time. So this, I've had this on since 10 o'clock this morning. It's now 6 o'clock in the evening, and it doesn't have too much of a crease, and it has a, like a light, good pigment, so that was the um, high pigment. So, I mean, I, if, if a product costs a lot of money, that doesn't always mean, or nine out of 10 times doesn't mean that it's worth it. Because you can get the same thing for cheap. But on the other hand, just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's the same thing as a lot of money. You have to do your research. Like, for instance, these brushes completely suck. And while I love the high pigment line, this right here, this Color Truth Cream Liner, the purple, it's a really yuck color. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I like the blue and I like the turquoise. The purple. Um, Bare Essentials Glimmer. I have a tendency of, like, when I blend out my colors, they just seems to fade. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I mean, I'm making it, I'm making the little paste thing and stuff all over, you know, jar or whatever. I'm, I'm putting it on and I'm using a base, I'm using a primer, but after it dries and I go to blend, like, it falls off. I don't know. Somebody have an answer for that?